Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm going to be cooking up the Crust Burger out of Joyland Restaurant in Nashville, Tennessee. Let's get going. So Joyland is a restaurant in Nashville, Tennessee. It was created by a pretty respected chef by the name of Sean Brock. Com kind of comfort food menu, I guess. Uh, you know, fried chicken sandwiches, hot dogs, hamburgers. He does smash burgers. And his most popular burger on the menu is the Crest Burger. You're going to see this is different. After this video, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from smash burgers, but I had to do this. And you're going to see why they call Nashville Smashville. So I'm using my wildfire griddle today. This side here I have on medium. This side here I have on medium high. Good old Martin's potato roll. And I'm going to butter this roll here. Get these rolls on the griddle. And we're going to smash. Now on the smash top here, just apply more butter. All right, we're gonna kick these off to the side here. I have your two three ounce balls of 80-20 ground chuck. Get this, this one a little bit. And we are going to smash these. Some people get intimidated by smashing without a uh, parchment. As long as you're keeping that spatula firmly pressed, moving it sideways and pulling it off to the side, you'll, you'll be fine. I'm gonna add some salt, some black pepper. And here's where things I think get different. I'm adding some red onion, as you know, most Restaurants, they're gonna flip this before they add anything. And they're letting it cook through. Which, uh, I did a, there's a Korean, like, street stand that does this. So now what I'm gonna do is flip these over. So what was the top of the bun is now the inside of the bun. So I'm literally sitting here editing this video and I realized that I screwed up on that top bun. It should be flipped over so that the part that is normally on the inside of the bun is facing upwards. And here we are. <laughs> the crust burger from Joyland and this is unlike any other smash burger I've ever done. Look at that. <laughs> Crazy. You'll notice there's no condiments on here. Look at the back. That is nice. You didn't get to see that. Beautiful, beautiful crust. So it's gonna balance everything off. So uh, you'll notice there, there are no condiments on this. Joyland has a sauce, a burger sauce. They call it a Joy sauce. And it's on all their other burgers, um, but this. I think because of all the butter and cheese and everything, they feel it just, it's, and it's dripping. They just don't need it. It's hot too. Wow. Yeah, that butter flavor is really coming through. So first off, it's very hot temperature wise. I mean, it's like, you know, burning my fingers. Um, I think that by not flipping it, it's probably a little bit more, more juicy than your traditional smash burger. Um, the onions are somewhat cooked. I mean, they're not, obviously not like fried or caramelized or anything, but they're, you know, 
you can see that they're kind of an opaque color. They're softened. Um, I didn't mention this. Those onions are paper thin that they're using. And I used a mandolin. I'm sure they're using a mandolin as well. But, I mean, you can hold them up and almost see through them. They're so thin. So just that heat transfer coming up through the burger is cooking those onions. My opinion, because the amount you saw me add is the way they're doing it. They're going fairly light on the onions. I think it would actually do better with more onion. I think it'd be, because I am getting that crunch, but I'm not getting as much onion as I want to get. And I know, you know, red onions are very strong, so it's better to err on the safe side and go kind of light. But I think it could use a, a couple more slices at least. All that butter makes this burger. Um, Martin's potato roll. I'm sorry, Martin's. <laughs> um, they're my favorite. I love a Martin's hamburger roll. It's disappeared. It's a wafer now. But I think this is the best choice because those rolls are just so soft and they do smash so thin. I mean, it's like a pancake on here. This is a good burger. And the main reason I wanted to do this is because my wife discovered it and asked me if I would do this. Um, but I just, uh, I love doing, you know, these smash burgers when it's showing a different technique as far as the actual smash. I mean, my last couple smash burgers were this way. And this, I think, ices the cake, so to speak. Um, you know, like I said, I've seen uh, a little street food stand it was in Korea on, on YouTube doing this, you know, where they don't flip. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. Cheers. <laughs> anyway, thanks for stopping by. Um, if you're not subscribed, consider hitting that sub button, ringing the bell, thumbing it up if you liked the video. I hope you did. And keep those suggestions coming in, please. Um, like I said, the next uh, few burgers you're going to see me do will be more traditional as far as the patty's concerned. They're not going to be smashed. I'm taking a break from smash. If you guys were complaining about it and are voicing some concern, I'll say, I hear ya. We're going to do some traditional patties on the grill and the flat top, and it's going to be fun. See you on the next video. Cheers.